week or so. Head to our website at WDTN.com. Well, it was not bad for the 4th of July, a little more summer-like today across the region here in Dayton. And overhead, we just see a few clouds from our Poe Avenue camera this evening. And a big jump in the humidity today. That's the main story in temperatures as well, up into the 80s. The headlines mostly clear tonight. Just an isolated thunderstorm is only possible in the early evening. And then hot, humid weather takes over for the next few days into Monday and Tuesday with low 90s expected and then uh, increasing chances of rain by the middle part of next week. The high is the current temperature 87 degrees, the low 67. So we were right about normal for this time of year and uh, we still have a light northwest wind out there running about five miles an hour. The humidity is at 55% with that dew point getting up close to 70 degrees, a lot more humid out there. Temperatures around our region show upper 80s for the most part. A couple spots have hit 90 degrees, but we will see the temperatures only slowly fall through the 80s during the course of the evening. So if you're headed out to enjoy any of the big fireworks displays around the Miami Valley, you shouldn't have any trouble. I'm not ruling out a slight chance of a thunder shower just in the early evening around 8 o'clock, but by the time the fireworks get underway, we should be all clear and temperatures should be around 80 degrees for the most part in the region. So enjoy that. In fact, looking at live Doppler 2 HD, you can see that uh, there is no precipitation going on anywhere in the Miami Valley right now. So assuming that continues, we should be in good shape for the rest of the evening. We've got a large area of high pressure that's sitting over the state of Kentucky that is in control of our weather tonight. A warm front's moved on through. We have a cold front that will approach us by the middle part of the week. That will increase the cloud cover and give us a chance for some showers and thunderstorms. But we do need to talk about Elsa tonight. Uh, down in the Caribbean, winds are only 60 miles an hour, so still just a tropical storm. And it's forecast to move across Cuba and skirt Florida on the western Gulf side as a tropical storm. And if winds stay below that threshold, It'll remain a uh, lesser storm, and we're hoping for that for the efforts down in the Miami Valley, or in the uh, Miami area, Miami, Florida, that is. Across the Miami Valley and in the Midwest, you can see that the uh, future track is showing just a few intermittent cloud areas moving through. Really no rain to speak of right through overnight tonight and on into Monday and maybe just a slight chance of a shower by Tuesday afternoon. So mostly clear tonight and uh, pleasant out there. Just an isolated threat of a thunderstorm early in the evening, a low about 70 degrees, and then for tomorrow, partly sunny, hot and humid. Look at that, highs of 92 expected. And going into the seven day forecast, you can see that our temperatures are gonna stay in the 90s right through the middle part of the week with increasing chances of rain by the middle part of next week. Yeah. All right, thank you, Robert Hutch is here with a look at sports.